Energy Center. Today we're going to show you some of the Penguins locker room area. Where we're standing currently right now is, is their lounge area. This is a pretty large area as you can see right here. It's going to be filled up with a lot of TVs. It's going to have couches. It's going to have a little kitchenette area over there where they can have food and drinks. A lot of coffee uh, for the hockey players as well too is going to be in this area. So it's going to be a really nice area for them to come in uh, prior to a game or even after a game and just kind of relax and take it easy before the, the actual game starts. We now have moved from the lounge into the Penguins locker room. You can see here it's an oval shaped room. Really cool finishes up on the ceiling as well on the walls. You can see this is where all the lockers are going to be on these outside walls here. They have a, a bulkhead up above where lights are going to be for each of the players, individual lockers. Uh, we have a big TV that's going to go up to the front as well as a coaching wall. And one of the neat things that you probably will also find interesting is this room has a superheat system to it, meaning that we have after their morning skate, they come back in, they hang up all their clothes, and we're able to heat the room up to a very high degree, probably somewhere in the 90 to 100 degree range, as well as exhausting out everything to help dry out their clothes in between the morning skate and when they redress again for the evening's game. Okay, we now have moved from the Penguins locker room into their steam room. You can see the size of this room. I think it may be able to accommodate about half the players or more uh, with these two levels of benches. So this will get all tile on the wall. What you're seeing right now is a subsurface that gets applied for moisture protection. And this whole room will get tile and we'll be able to have a nice steam room for the players to enjoy either prior to or after a game. Our last stop of the day is up on our main concourse, but really what I want to show you is behind me. It's this large scaffolding system that took about three weeks for the guys to build here and was built to provide a safe working surface for the workers on the upper, uh, to, to be able to get to our upper parts of our, our entry spine right here. As you can see, up to the ceiling to do the ceiling work, some duct work that had to go in up there. There's uh, some plumbing that has to go in, there's sprinklers, there's paint that has to go up there, there's baffling. So they built this entire system to be able to provide that platform up there, as well as what you see here on the side coming down these columns that gives them a safe working surface to be able to do their painting of the columns.